Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Against the Hive uh, campaign where I'm trying to survive as long as possible against an ever-growing onslaught of massive, massive, massive uh, chrysalids. So far we've done an admirable job as uh, the guy with uh, the bold hair would say and we are now in operation winter dragon oh, i want the engineer and i even want the intel more but above all i want promotions unfortunately we don't have anyone uh, of captain rank yet lieutenants are unavailable so we're bringing sergeants and corporals uh, to the mix Zuhuger, Zonar, Sane, Mike the bravo public and wrong planet are going to rock this particular mission I've brought the best uh, ballistic weapons that I could muster as well as the best ballistic armor. Uh, little vests here and there for good measure. And really we haven't uh, gotten anything in terms of equipment upgrade. Which is the reason why I want to rush the proving ground now to just get that one faster. We need more variety in equipment to begin with. Uh, and specifically more crowd control um, or other weapons that that would help us but yeah that's further down the line let's first of all try to win this mission okay so we landed rescue an operative which oh no it's one of those missions where we need to go in and defend the operative well that is that is going to be a problem we are outgunned and outclassed already. Orders confirmed. Moving out. Double time. So the enemies here might become gradually more and more difficult. Moving out. Not sure how long we will be able to withstand what Advent is going to throw in our direction. The main problem is we haven't gotten any breakthrough with our ballistic weapons yet. And the individual breakthroughs haven't uh, increased our weapon damage either. And that's really a problem if you think about it, because not only um, are we rocking the absolute standard weapons, but the squad sizes of Advent uh, will also start to balloon. And we're already at this point running near to double enemy pack size Copy that. Tip four. Time to motor. we've seen it with the last mission where typically you get a solo berserker sometimes a berserker plus one but never a berserker plus three and most certainly not a berserker plus a mac plus two that is unheard of for good reasons. So yeah, the difficulty curve will ramp up now. And I will just try to weasel my way through it and get a sneaky win or two. Let's see if I can weave the psych and magic. Wait, I saw something sort of here. What would appear to be a single entity is Spectres? Are you kidding me? And Advent Shield Bearers 3 armor? Oh. That is ultra nasty. Okay, let's try to be reasonable here for a second. Beat, beat. The Spectres are an issue. That's 16 hit points right there, and they can take one of our guys out immediately, so we can't just fight that pack. Wow, look at the amount of detection radius that they do have thanks to Vigilance. 
Oh boy, that is harsh. I'm on it. Okay. If we kill him, that'll trigger a chain reaction. If we do not kill him, though, then the joke is on us. Good. Time to get uh, the purifier out. And we're, re uh, we're overwatching. Sector soldiers tend to just shoot because that's what they're good at. Yeah, so we are forced to use 30% uh, shots. We were lucky that it was hitting, but it could have gone either way. No, we are not alone, dude. We are so not alone. Bracing the weapon. Reloading. Reloading. Overwatch. Overwatch. Reloading. Overwatch. And Overwatch. The enemy investigates. We can take them out. Mike moves up. We're Gucci. Full cover over here. We're still good. Sane moves up. Overwatch, 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 and Overwatch. Oh, there's a pack. Purifier and shield bearer, I think. Yeah, let's just continue to Overwatch, really. All that needs to happen is they need to move in and we'll get a full overwatch trap. Come on, can't be that difficult. Patrol into our overwatch place. I need to squeeze out any advantage that I can get. It's a bit of a lame tactic to go for overwatch traps, but what am I supposed to do? Um, a pack of two is already, yeah, challenging with enough hit points. And if I let the shield bearer do his shield thing, then we are in trouble. Good, unfortunately the enemy seems to not want to move into us. Okay. Scanning. Moving a bit closer in the hopes of just getting someone here so that they are charging in. Yeah, let's give it one one two more turns. This area is hot. And they are just standing there. And this is where the AI just doesn't want to move in. Okay, let's do a little trick that works sometimes. Yeah, they're still standing at the exact same position. They might want to come around flank us now. Okay, we know they are standing there, right? So...
Wow, there's uh, yet another pack. Okay, well... Time to deal with them. Specifically with a stupid mech. Oh, those crates are... Okay. Well, it is what it is. Sometimes the slightest of crates will be in the way. Don't want to be triple hit up here. We somehow need to be able to shred uh, the mech, unfortunately. That's not going to happen. Good, mech is almost down. If I charge in, I could pull that other pack. But not charge uh, in, we're going to take a lot of damage, for sure, guaranteed. Okay, that was fine. And end of turn. Well, stupid shield bearer has now officially gotten shields. They want to use the high ground and I don't want to use many of the grenades. On my way. Sona moves up. Hmm. Nah. It's not really making any sense. proactively use grenades yeah the cover is too much of a problem can't really deal with it very well so let's remove all of that cover I wanted to make sure that we're not using too many explosives at the beginning. I have failed in that mission. Reload first. Shot second. Sukuger so moves up and potentially finishes him. Very good. You can't handle me. Permanent covering now. I'm being flanked. I'm going to need support here. Stupid Spectre. Orders confirmed. Moving out. 
Sona begins to re take revenge. And Mike does the good old shotgun to the face. Elarium core is great. The extra intel is good as well. And let's use one of our med kits to heal Sonar to full. Cougar overwatches. Yeah, let's get back into a solid formation before we're doing anything stupid. Okay, reload into Overwatch, into reload Overwatch, into Overwatch, into Overwatch. In the hopes of maybe getting off another Overwatch trap. I shouldn't say another A Overwatch trap because it hasn't worked so far. Good bracing again. Moving to Overwatch. I I eyes peeled. Hold sound. They might be over here. Enemy troops of four. That's nasty. Shield bearers will make them so much more durable. Oh boy. Wrong planet. There we go. Good job, buddy. So Cougar moves in. We need to focus on the Mac. The shredding worked very well. Um, could f f uh, free reload, but we won't do that. Move over here, but that would open a potential flank. I think we're okay where we are. Sona moves into half cover, but out of line of sight of one of uh, them, and with an excellent ability to shoot. Trooper is too strong to get just one shot. What we could try to do is move in, offer us also as a target, and then Cover your eyes. crowd control them. Again, I didn't want to use all of that before uh, beforehand, but the entrance enemies I think I need some help. are already forcing us to use a lot of our cooldowns. Moves up into a very nice critical hit. Round. 
Zane moves into half cover, free reload, kill. And reposition. Not bad. That's a miss, but we can still overwatch. I don't want to make us a target, which is why I'm not overwatching. And 30% shots are never great to take. That was a miss. Roger that. X ray neutralized. Running dry. Seems doable. What a pathetic Service. damage output. Location confirmed. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. The new classes don't make it easier either. Good to go. I wanted weaker classes, so that's all good. I'm not all complaining. Right. It's just noticeable ramp up of, of difficulty. We could stay in the middle here or we're actually taking over here and then are jumping behind that line of sight which I think isn't the worst idea Solid copy. Get it covered. Good to go. Headed there now Okay. No need to ask twice. Move over there. Maybe we're moving over here to be honest. Another one on that roof might not be bad. Sona over there is good. We can't jump over that tube, which is a huge problem. Good that we're checking it now before it becomes one. Okay, hmm. Listen, we could position ourselves back here. I think over here isn't too bad either. This plus bracing would be good. Moving over here. If enemies start spawning from there, we need to be ready. So moving over and holding that side might be the way to go. Good. Hmm. It will not get much better than that. Can reach over here and here. Can reach over here and here. So we got that rooftop solidly covered. Sonar is ready. And.
Mike will be ready over here too. Well, that's a complete different direction. I wasn't expecting any of those to come in. We've got multiple contacts closing on your position. It's an ambush. Hold your ground. Hold your ground. Well, we shall hold our ground. Moving over here. Moving over here. We're fleeing. Uh, sonar. Can't take the high ground, but we can get a bit closer. And with that, we can also throw our defensive mine in soon. Roger that. For now, I want every single overwatch shot that I can get. So, hmm. Alright, five turns cooldown sucks, but we'll get another overwatch shot from up close and personal. We're going to brace for better chances, uh, for better aim. It's the only one who does not take an overwatch. Ah, Vipers, not good. One is down. Unfortunately, that's pretty much it. The other two will continue to mock us. But that's one option. The other one is a safe and secure kill. We're going to figure out soon what we're going to do. Mike moves in. Shotgun to the face. Nice crit. Good job, Mike. Fabulous. Be a kill. And thankfully, we do have reposition, which allows us to get back up. to stay there that was good because now all of the cover is removed we are continuing to just try trying to get them down some overwatch 
and that could be a kill. Down to one HP. Not perfect. Minimum damage again, the explosion would have killed both. What a pity. Okay, just out of tongue grab uh, reach, which is good. This guy explodes, we should be okay. Solid copy. Mike stays in full cover. Drop Clears that Ready side, good, very good and helpful. Good, we're moving into full cover over here. This is 100% kill, plus we're poisoning every single one that is going to spawn. hit I like it move up no yes kill Could be a kill, could be a potential kill. Poison spit would hit both of us, but only one would take poison damage. Um, not sure if we're uh, not uh, too close for a grenade explosion. Staying up here, 100% hit, uh, we're going to take this guy out. Alright, joke's on me, the mech of course doesn't take any poison damage, and the purifier is of course also immune. Can't charge in, but I need to hit this Viper. So we're slashing instead. 
Not the worst call, not the best either. Moving out, let's hold our position. cover instead of healing ourselves and not even critting it fantastic repositioning over here for even better full cover sona moves over here come on crit that was a crit, but I was hoping for the explosion as well. Should have been more precise with my wish. Should have been more precise with my wish. I thought I could uh, AOE over uh, AOE suppress after taking a shot, but clearly that is not the case. Luckily, this guy missed. Not so lucky for us, we're seeing more enemies. Yeah, I, I would love to get out of here. Okay, so this is the extraction zone. I see. charge over here and almost get completely out of here first of all overwatch shot how much damage does he deal three so we could trigger the overwatch One for the team. See you later, bitches. Time to get the rest of the squad out of there before they get overrun by those damn things. Evan Trooper is not the biggest problem. I actually think that the mech might be a bigger issue. I can hit everything but that one field. That should still hit it. What um, purifier won't reach us, the other guy will also not reach us. I just need to get everybody out for now. Maximum damage thanks to our shotguns. Good job.
This could be a kill. If not, it's an injury. Staying here in half cover, not the greatest move of all times, but at least one that allows us to keep cover and eliminate that guy. In the same momentum, we are charging just to get out of here. End of turn. More enemies are coming. I wouldn't have a problem with the troopers, but I do have an issue with heavier enemies. This guy is poisoned. That reduces his hit chance. It looks like they're running out of reinforcements. Let's get moving before that changes. I'm all over it. Got it. Running. Beat feet. All right, Evek all. Thank you. Well, that was a harsh mission. That was a harsh mission. Mainly the uh, beginning was actually way more difficult than anticipated. Once we uh, were well in position, it was actually going quite quite okay. Good, and we got a few promotions. So, Zoo Cougar um, has Shredder and Covering Fire. I like uh, the covering fire it's great combat awareness and we had those um, passive abilities right uh, passive ability suppression fire where was his passive ability yeah there we go level two Aim bonus on reaction shots, weapon uh, gains more ammunition, that is super helpful. That is super helpful. Okay, so, combat awareness, um, how does that work? Around 10%, defense in one armor when the marine is in overwatch or suppressing a target. That's not bad, I like it. it fits that role very well. Suppression reaction shots will have a 10% chance to critical hit and will deal plus one on crit. Hmm. I'm not 100% sure if I like that one. If you did not move last turn, you automatically em place uh, to gain. I'm not sure if that is correct English. You automatically em place to gain a bonus of plus 10 aim and gain a weapon range increase of plus five tiles bonus is lost when moving when in place cannons uh, and machine guns can benefit from fire discipline reaction fire bonuses for all reaction shots not just suppression that's great okay so that's essentially just in place it is by the way correct english um, it's just a weird uh, sentence anyways uh, mm, so you can basically screw your heavy weapon to the ground, use a tripod and uh, and place it. I like the plus five tile bonus uh, range, that isn't bad. Plus 10% uh, defense in one armor when overwatching isn't bad either. But I think we're going to go with emplaced because it automatically happens in 
oftentimes I find myself not moving. So let's try that. Enemies, travel preview bar. Okay, okay, well, cool. Let's try that. Sane as a major uh, does have reposition. We wanted to skill him a bit different uh, than the other medics. We wanted to use um, kind of that combat route a bit more. Advanced combat training increases mobility and aim, so that would make him uh, a real uh, frontline soldier. After activating the next medkit healing ability will not cost an action. I think that's a cool concept because with that he can heal himself and just continue firing. Uh, two mobility, five aim aren't bad either, but I think I go with emergency eight. Free actions are always good actions. Michael Public Bravo uh, has zone of control and we can either uh, take breaching maneuver, which was that partial movement, plus two mobility when run and gun is activated and reduce the cooldown, or we're going into the slashing route, which we haven't used yet. I think, um, no, I think we're just going with a breaching maneuver because that was actually super helpful. Very good. Cool, we got ourselves a another engineer. Four engineers, uh, that is bueno. I like it. One permanently assigned to the infirmary, one permanently assigned to the resistance ring, and then we got ourselves a proving ground that is hopefully going to take off soon. In terms of overall armory, boy, we do have a lot of squaddies that we need to level, but what am I supposed to do? And even more rookies. That's going to be a meat grinder. Reduce contact costs are cool, but not helpful because we have no further contacts available. Um, I might want to just double check the black market in order to help us. Advanced agility might not be a bad thing. We actually need that at the moment. So 40 into, just to keep us alive on our top soldiers. Advanced hair trigger not good enough to spend intel for it. And I think we're just going to go and get more intel. Cool, so drone autopsy is done. We can now build in the proving ground PCS hive drone tech. That is good because it is a PCS uh, that we can use. And finally, the first breakthrough for assault rifles is incoming. Mind you, they already had a breakthrough for extra uh, mods. So that is very, very helpful. Uh, getting that extra uh, breakthrough. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Not much more that we can do. I'll get Intel. And we got another Marine. Euler <clears throat> has made his way through. And we need more, let's see, even more Marines. Seppers are good and more tech specialists. So tech specialists next and then more Marines. John McMullen, you look like a tech specialist to me, my friend. Still can't get squad size uh, part two. And we finally got ourselves Euler.
he will wear the blue colors as an outfit for this run. Fantastic. Good, let's get the negative trade off of Bravo. Even if that means he's out of commission for now. Our action together is complete, Commander. And we got a nice promotion, and even better, we got a scientist. Now, in terms of next steps, I mean, I would love to have a promotion. Without a shadow of a doubt, that's a great idea. Because it would solve our... Uh, mm, our squad problem but we need that facility lead it is more important than ever willpower hmm we need two sergeants for that mission uh, what kind of class do we have as duplicates Tech Specialist, Sepper, Templar, it's one of each. That's unfortunate. Well, the Marine is the duplicate here. So might as well put Dark Taranoxus in here. There is a chance for an ambush. That in itself is not good. And if we put him in, let's put Hayward in as well. Takes them 10 days to go through it, but the facility lead is supreme. Really good. We definitely need that. We'll get the job done. Don't worry, Commander. Even as if the rest of uh, the bonuses is not that good. So, John here. Um, we could... Take time to extra carefully lead the target. A 20% increased chance to hit. Nope. Light weighing optics. Allows uh, the marksman to utilize sniper rifle and hold a target or its what's wide range without setting them up. Uh, that was the go to for us. And Quake is ready for a mission, it seems. Very well. Good. Still no proving grounds. And much to my disliking, we are forced into another mission. So collectors, that's not a problem. Um, I don't, I don't mind that uh, event to go through. We could use an engineer. That actually would be a fantastic reward. Yeah, I think we're. We're straight up going for that engineer. Recover an item from an advent train can be quite difficult, but uh, that dark event stinks and we want to get it off the table and the engineer is important. So that's going to happen next time when we are fighting against the hive. If uh, you want to fight against the hive as well, try to first of all train your skills by wrestling down the like button. Uh, that guy has trained and needs uh, some wrestling down. And once you have been successful, let me know how that went in the comment section down below. Take care and see you in two days. Bye bye.